Good morning, everybody. It is about 7.45 in the morning here on a Saturday in Sacramento. Just doing a little bit of shakeout route, route recon, making sure that the route I picked actually makes a little bit of sense. And there aren't any accidental like dead ends or that we're not running on railroad tracks, things like that. So I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna do the whole route, just a little part of it. Make sure the whole thing makes sense. I think, I think that route's gonna work, I think, for the most part. We'll see. All right, now let's meet everybody for the shakeout. So I found my cousin here in Sacramento, of all places. What's going on, Jamie? Thanks for coming out for the shakeout run. I think you're gonna have a lot of fun coming with us. I'm excited to have you joining in on the run. This is my first Kapuzi Run Club gathering. No, like, it's your second. No, first of all, I, didn't, I just I just stood there and stared at you. I looked at you. <laughs> I didn't actually got go anywhere with you. I just you like, came on this in Austin. Yeah, but it's like, but anyway, I'm here now. Yeah. And it's good to see. I was like, back to back days. That's right. It's like, 2020 didn't see you at all. This year, I see you every single day. I it know. seems like. I'm going to get used to it. So yeah, what's your state? Mm -hmm. Austin yesterday, two days ago. Yeah. Yeah. Took it's amazing. It's I feel great. I'm happy to see you, man. I'm, yeah. I'm genuinely excited. Cool, cool. But um, is that your group over there? Oh, my cousins. Your cousins? Awesome. awesome. Are they heading out? But I have to go with them, though. I can't actually run with them. You're not going to run with them? I'm sorry. <laughs> but they're paying me by the hour. All right. Well, go get your, go get your money. I got money. bills to pay. Go get it. Go get it. Looking good, man. Good to see you. Alright guys, well, I've had like three or four runs now where we didn't get lost, we didn't have to double back, so we were overdue. We were way overdue, so look at this. Just finished the run, had a really fantastic time. I don't think we lost anybody, and we only had to double back like a little bit. <laughs> What's going on, man? So I overall I'll consider that a success. We did have to run a little bit on cobblestone, which wasn't ideal, and then we were on railroad track, so maybe I'm not selling this well. It was a good, it was a good shakeout run. Everyone that I got to meet today, so good to meet you in person and to share a run. I had just a fantastic time. Alright, now I'm gonna get some food to eat, get some breakfast. And then I'm gonna try and uh, just get back to the hotel room, put out a couple of videos, and just relax for the rest of the day because tomorrow <laughs> is race day. It has been four days since I left Chicago, and already I feel like I've de acclimated to the cold weather because right now it's 55 degrees and I'm wearing a winter hat. In my defense, I think that the weather in California is a little different. When it gets chilly, there's like a, there's something that hangs in the air that makes it feel a little bit colder to me. Although, when I'm running, once I start running, I warm up like right away. So it's kind of hard for me to figure out. Anyway, right now, I've been having a very relaxing morning and it's been really great. But I need to eat some lunch. On the shakeout run today, I saw that there was some places to eat over here and go and try and find some food. So normally I just like to get a bunch of food from Whole Foods 
like the hot bar and also just general snacks when I travel for a race. There isn't one like within walking distance to the hotel. Maybe there is, but it seemed like it was really far. So I think this time I'm gonna go with Chipotle, which seems like a real disappointment to me because I'm in California where burritos are delicious. I'm not sure exactly what the burrito scene is like here in Sacramento, but I felt like I had to go with something a little bit boring. One thing that I've noticed that a lot of high performing athletes do is they eat a lot of boring food when they travel for a race. Camille Heron always gets Subway, Jordan Trope, when he did the uh, hold fast challenge, three marathons in three days, he ate Olive Garden like every day. So I think that there's something to that, something that's not going to excite your system too much, but gets you the nutrition that you need. So I'm not saying that Chipotle is bad. I love Chipotle, but it is kind of a bland choice when you're traveling. But I think for me, it's the right choice for today. All right guys, after like four days of travel, I feel like you've probably seen enough of me eating, right? You don't need me to do slow motion eating anymore, do you? Okay, we'll do, we'll do this one more time. It is now 6 p.m. Just got back from an early dinner. Went out for dinner with Martha and Leona, some friends from the live stream. It was really great to spend some more time with them and share a meal together. Leona's husband also came with us as well, so it was great to just sit down and relax and get an early dinner, which I always appreciate before a race because uh, for some reason it gives me quite a bit of nerves if uh, I'm eating very late. Uh, and at a restaurant uh, the day before a race. So that's usually why before a race, I normally will just kind of like get something to go, normally go to Whole Foods. Uh, but uh, since they were doing an early dinner, I thought that worked out perfectly. Uh, and it was a very relaxing way to spend the evening. Now though, having walked back and it was 50 degrees out, I was a little bit chilly. And now very worried about my clothing choice for tomorrow. I already did my flat lay. I laid out the singlet that I was gonna wear and I'm worried that tomorrow at 40 degrees and like almost 100% humidity, that it's gonna feel really, really cold in the air. So I'm debating whether or not to go with a long sleeve, or I mean not a long sleeve, a short sleeve, or go with the singlet that I had picked. I'm thinking the singlet, but I've just gotta figure out, I, I don't know, I'm pretty much gonna obsess a bit about it for the rest of the night go back and forth. I guess I'll kind of have both out as options and make a game time decision, like I guess in the morning, but um, that's pretty much it. That's all I gotta do. Now I just gotta relax. I usually like to watch like a couple of videos to kind of get both hyped up and get my mind right. Uh, and then if I can find out, I usually like to watch Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. Uh, and that's usually how like I do my kind of pre-race routine, my night of, like night before the race stuff. And I think then I'm gonna try and get an early night's sleep. I also have to kind of like re-review like where do I get the bus, where do I do my bag drop off. They don't have any bag check at the starting line. You have to do it before you leave. So I have to get that bag ready uh, before I get on the bus. Uh, so I gotta do some of that and do some reading, figure out like exactly where I need to. I know like the general times, but I gotta figure out like some more of those details. But other than that, get my feet up, get into bed, get relaxed and get ready for tomorrow. So uh, by the time this video goes up, I'll already be on the start line. So um, if you wanna track me, my bib number is 1211. And you can uh, see how I do tomorrow. People have been asking me if I think I'm gonna break three tomorrow. I'm not sure, ultimately, uh, I think I'm pretty fit. I think my body's in relatively good condition, you know, 
for running a, a good race. And my only goal is to make sure I run to my fitness, no more, no less. And uh, whatever the number happens to be, hopefully it's on the happy side of three hours, but if it's not, that's okay. As long as I execute a good race and I feel like I've run to my potential for what I have in me today or tomorrow, I guess. Does that make sense? So that's all I'm hoping for. I know there's gonna be a lot of you out there in that three hour pace group as well coming with me. So I can't wear, wait to share those miles with you. So I think that's gonna be it, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of this video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your run and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?